गिवन क्वेश्चन द इंजिन कैपेसिटी ऑफ फोर स्ट्रोक ओवर स्क्वेयर स्पार्क इग्निशन इंजिन इज टू फिफ्टी सी सी द ओवर स्क्वेयर रेशो इज वन पॉइंट वन द क्लियरेंस वॉल्यूम इज थर्टी सी सी कैलक्युलेट बोवर स्ट्रोक एंड कॉम्प्रेशन रेशो ऑफ द इंजिन लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड गिवन डेटा ओवर स्क्वेर एस आई इंजिन इज गिवन सो वॉट इज दिस ओवर स्क्वेर इंजिन सो हियर बोअर डायमीटर डी इज ग्रेटर दैन स्ट्रोक लेंथ एल देन इट इज नोन एज ओवर स्क्वेर इंजिन वेन डी इज लेस दैन एल देन इट इज नोन एज अंडर स्क्वेर इंजिन एंड वेन डी इज इक्वल टू एल देन इट इज नोन एज स्क्वेर इंजिन इंजिन कैपेसिटी और क्यूबिक कैपेसिटी इज ऑल्सो गिवन टू फिफ्टी सी सी सो हियर सी सी मीन्स सेंटीमीटर क्यूब ओवर स्क्वेर रेशो सो दिस रेशो इज दिस रेशो डी डिवाइडेड बाय एल एंड इट इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट वन सो दिस ओवर स्क्वेर रेशो इज मैंशन इन द क्वेश्चन क्लियरेंस वॉल्यूम सो क्लियरेंस वॉल्यूम नोटेशन इज वी सी एंड इट इज इक्वल टू थर्टी सी सी दैट इज थर्टी सेंटीमीटर क्यूब एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट बोथ डायमीटर डी स्ट्रोक लेंथ एल कॉम्प्रेशन रेशो आर सो फर्स्ट वी विल फाइंड आउट दिस बोर डायमीटर डी नाउ इफ वी ऑब्जर्व द गिवन डेटा इंजिन कैपेसिटी और क्यूबिक कैपेसिटी इज गिवन सो हाउ टू फाइंड आउट दिस इंजिन कैपेसिटी और क्यूबिक कैपेसिटी सो इट इज दैट बोर एरिया दैट इज पाई बाय फोर डी स्क्वेर multiplied by stroke length l so we will write here cubic capacity is equal to pi by 4 d square into l but this is the type of engine over the square and over square ratio is given d by l is equal to 1.1 so we can write here instead of l we will write here therefore l is equal to d divided by 1.1 so we will put this value in this equation so we will get pi by 4 d cube divided by 1.1 so cubic capacity is given 250 cm cube so we have to write here as a 250 and when we put this value 250 then what is the value of d cube so d cube is equal to 250 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 1.1 divided by pi so this is the value of d cube that is 350 so when we calculate d we will get the answer d is equal to 7.04 cm now from this value of d we can calculate the stroke length l so it is 6.4 cm so this is the second answer and then we will move to calculate the compression ratio so compression ratio r is equal to total volume divided by clearance volume so where is the total volume so it is not mentioned in the question clearance volume it is mentioned in the question so how to find out this total volume so it is equal to stroke volume plus clearance volume so we will write here vs plus vc now vs is also not mentioned in the question now if we observe how to find out this engine capacity or cubic capacity so it is having formula so engine capacity or cubic capacity is equal to vs multiplied by k where k is number of cylinders now in this question number of cylinders is equal to 1 so we can say that engine capacity or cubic capacity is equal to vs so vs multiplied by 1 that is vs so instead of vs we will write this value 250 so 250 plus 30 divided by 30 so this ratio that is compression ratio 9.33 so this is the third answer given question the mechanical efficiency of single cylinder four stroke engine is 70% the frictional power is estimated to be 20 kW calculate the indicated power and brake power developed by engine let us understand given data this is single cylinder four stroke engine 
mechanical efficiency is equal to 70 percent and frictional power is equal to 20 kilowatt we have to find out indicated power and brake power now if we observe the given data mechanical efficiency is given and it is the ratio of brake power to the indicated power now how to write 70 percent that is 70 divided by 100 which is equal to 0 0.7 so we can say that brake power is equal to 0 0.7 indicated power. Now frictional power is given. So what is the relation in between indicated power, frictional power and brake power. So indicated power is equal to brake power plus frictional power. Now we will put the value of BP in this equation. So suppose I will say this is the equation number 1. Then I will write here IP is equal to 0 0.7 IP plus FP. So we have to put the value of this FP. So I will write here IP minus this FP is equal to 20. So IP minus 20 is equal to BP and this BP is equal to 0 0.7 IP. So I will transfer this 0 0.7 IP to the left hand side and this 20 to the right hand side then we will get its coefficient is 1 so 1 minus 0 0.7 that is 0 0.3 ip is equal to 20 and therefore ip that is indicated power is equal to 66.6 .6 kilowatts so this is the first answer and bp is equal to so bp is equal to 0 0.7 into ip so that is equal to 46.6 .6 kilowatts so this is the second answer.